The Battle of Lankipoya was a Finnish Civil War battle fought in the village of Lankipoya on 16 March 1918 between the Whites and the Reds. Together with the battles fought in Kuru, Ruovasi and Vilpula between 15 and 18 March, the Battle of Lankipoya was one of the first military operations related to the Battle of Tampere, which was the decisive battle of the Finnish Civil War. The battle is known for its bloody aftermath as the Whites executed 70 to 100 capitulated Reds. One of the executions was photographed and the images have become one of the best-known pictures of the Finnish Civil War. Chapter 1 Background The village of Lankipoja is located by the tampere Uvaskula Highway, 60 km northeast of Tampere which was the main base for Red Guards on the Tavastia Front. The Reds took control in Lankipoja in 10 February. It was one of the northernmost areas occupied by the Reds. Their intention was to proceed to the town of Uvaskula in central Finland and reach the Hopamoki Uvaskula and Uvaskula Pieksamaki railways. As the Whites launched their offensive against Tampere, Lankipoja's location was strategically important as the village closed the way to the town. Proceeding clashes occurred in 12 March, as 360 men of the Red Guards from Urjala, Jamza, and Amenlina attacked the village of Ivejavi, 9 km north of Lankipoja but the offensive failed. At the same time, a white guard unit from Kortain invaded Lankipoja from the east. They were pushed back as the Reds returned from Ivejavi. Several Reds were killed and the local Red commander Victory Harry was severely wounded, but the Whites had no fatalities. Chapter 2 – Battle As the White Army launched their major offensive against Tampere, their plan was to take Lankipoja, then attack Orivesi 25 km west of Lankipoja, and cut the Tampere Hopamoki Railway. The white troops were commanded by the Colonel K.F. Wilkman. The 2,500 men regiment was divided into three battalions which were led by the Major Torsten Aminoff, Rittmeister Oscar Wilkman, and Captain Arne Heikenheimo. They were supported by an artillery battery commanded by the Swedish volunteer Nils Palmer and a reserve battalion under the command of the Major Sixten Oberg. The number of Red Guard fighters in Lankipoja is unknown, but most likely there was about 1,000 Reds. The Swedish Count Archibald Douglas, who fought for the Whites, estimated about 2,000 fighters. According to the Red Commander Victory Hurry, a couple of days before the battle the number of Reds was only 552. The Red Guards came from the nearby villages of Langelmarki, Jamza, and Orivesi, and from the southern Finland from Urjala, Hemenlina, Tuasila, Kerava, Mansala, Espor, and Helsinki. The Helsinki Red Guard had sent its famous A. Kompanija. It was one of the Red Elite units, Composed of strength sports athletes and gymnasts. The Reds were aware of the oncoming offensive. For example, the newspaper Timeys wrote a day before how the Whites had gathered their troops in the Lankipoya area. In the night before the battle, a large number of civilians fled the village. The Reds had built their main defensive line to the Hersikangas Hill, two kilometers north of Lankipoya. They had felled a large number of trees then piled the cut logs on both sides of the road and soaked them with water. In the below zero temperature, the stacks of wood were now covered by thick ice. The structure extended more than 50 meters on both sides of the road. As the trees in the slopes were cut, the attacking whites had to cross a wide open ground covered in deep snow. The whites attacked Lankipoja from three directions, Rittmeister Wilkman from north, Major Aminoff from east and Captain Heikenheimo from west. The white offensive was launched at 7 a.m. with heavy artillery fire. The bombing destroyed several buildings in both Lankipoja and the nearby village of Volkila where the Heikenheimo battalion was to strike. Most of the Reds remained in the village. The defensive post on Hersikangas Hill was occupied by only 80 fighters of the Tuasila and Helsinki Red Guards. The Urjala Red Guard was placed behind them, while the rest were defending the eastern and western flanks. The Aminoff Battalion, which attacked from east, was stopped in a less than an hour as well as the Heikenheimo Battalion in Volkila, two kilometers west of Lankipoja. 
The Wilkman battalion attacking the main defensive line was forced to retreat at 10 a.m. With the help of Oman reserves, Wilkman soon launched a new offensive and finally reached the red positions. The battle was now fought with bayonets and knives and the outnumbered reds were forced to retreat. The wounded reds remaining in the defensive posts were killed. As the red defense collapsed, Wilkman was now able to enter Lankipoya, only to be hit by their own men as the Aminoff battalion mistook them for reds. Finally the whites took the village at 3 p.m. as the reds fled south across the frozen lake Langel Mavasi. After Lankipoya was lost, the only remaining Reds were now the 300 fighters of Tuasula Red Guard who were still resisting in Volkila. The Wilkman battalion attacked from their rear and the battle was over in the late afternoon. Most of the Reds managed to flee, but about 100 surrendered believing that they were treated like prisoners of war. However, all the surrendered Reds were executed. Leander Vilianen, the commander of the Tuasula Red Guard, hid from the whites and committed suicide the next day. Chapter 3, Executions and Casualties The executions started immediately as the fighting ceased. They were carried out by the battalions of Oscar Wilkman and Sixter Noberg. The firing squads were led by the Jaeger officers Jan Vegelius and Jarl Vegelius. The number of executed is estimated between 70 and 100, including several local civilians. The number of Reds killed in the battle is estimated 20 to 60. The white casualties were 37 men, including two Swedish volunteers. Chapter 4, Natvig Photographs The battle was photographed by the Norwegian Red Cross medic Harald Natvig. His images on the Finnish Civil War are featured in the book Fra den Finsk Frihe 1918, Vestamin, published in late 1918. In Lankipoya, Natvig also took a series of three photographs on the execution of 13 surrendered Red Guard fighters, who were found hiding in basement and shot on 17 March. The first image shows the firing squad preparing for the execution, the second shows the Red Guard fighters being hit by bullets, and the last one shows a white officer giving a death blow to a suffering victim. The last two images of the series are some of the best-known images of the Finnish Civil War. Chapter 5, Commemoration The Memorial of the Fallen Whites was erected in 1938 by the Hersey Kangas Hill. Next to the present-day National Road 9 is the memorial of two killed whites, Father Matty Larilla, and son Ilmarie Larilla. Fallen and executed Reds were buried in a mass grave by the Langelmarkey Church. The memorial was erected in 1946.